them. I did all the confirmation I could, and they were agreeing to everything. But it was like I'm driving right now. I can't take a look look at it now, or you know, really, really think about it. Can you can you call me or send it over? Let me think about it. And so one of them I did. I tried Ace's deal about, you know, at you know when when can you look at it? when would you have time? One guy's like I'm actually driving out of town, and he's like so Monday. I was like Monday at noon. When we look at it and I call you and we can look at it together, I go through with it, answer any questions. Is is uh yeah. It, what would what would happen next at that point? He says, "Well, you know, if I like it, we'll, we can go with it." And I said, "Okay, I'm sorry, what?" And he said, "Well, if I like it, we'll go ahead, and we'll go with it." So I set the follow up for that. So did I handle that right, or should I have done pushed it a little bit more? Um, confirm, confirm, confirm. The only thing I would have done more is at the very end say, "Okay, when we talk." If I answer all your questions and you feel comfortable with everything, what happens next? Okay. That's it. That's it. Because I want to hear him say what? Like, yeah, I want to do it. Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. 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 What I don't want to hear him say, or maybe I do, is, well, I'll still need to talk to so-and-so. I'll still need to do this. I'll still need to do that. Right. So you take it one step further. Hey, if you're comfortable, I've answered all your questions. What happens then? You know, just play dumb. And hopefully they'll come out and say, you know, yeah, I'd do it. Yeah. If, if everything's cool, well, we're going to rock and roll with it. Awesome. Well, what one guy, one guy said that. And the other guy was like, oh, well, I have two house showings tonight. And I said, well, hey, man, um, that's great and all. But, you know, right now you're dealing with somebody who wants to to buy the property but if you don't want to that's fine you know or or is that is that what you is that what you're telling me and he says well no i really want to if your offer's better you can give me full full on asking price I, I i'm more inclined to take yours and uh but he was the one that said well i got to go through my wife that like, like claude saying uh the wife the church candles the, the attorneys yeah. And everything. yeah um so wh what i did and i didn't know if this was i just kind of took a guess at it was sending the the agreement memo since it was shorter, but taking out the signatures to just to put the information of what I would offer, his name, my name, the yeah. description of it. Yeah, that's that's uh, I have a letter of intent that I have somewhere around here, and that's basically what it looks like, um, where I sign the bottom of it, you know, as like a okay. like a letter, like sincerely, <laughs> Justin. Um, but really, what what I think should have happened is, is on the phone, I would have stopped the guy if he's like, well, yeah, 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 except I want to talk to my wife, I want to talk to my cousin, my attorney, my accountant, my priest, you know, so on and so forth. Everybody under the sun. I would have just said, uh, Mr. Homeowner, I, you know, I understand you need to talk to some people, you know, but is, are you, are you just a nice person? I think you are. And you maybe don't want to tell me no. You got to smoke them out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, cause I, I, and, and I tried to, because I was, I was on the verge of whether, like, I was going to throw this guy away or um, keep him, call him later. Um, because he, he basically said, he's like, the, the stuff on Zillow was emptied out. And I said, so you living in it? He's like, no, I'm not living in it. And I said, well, okay. I said, so where, where are you living? He's like, well, I've got another rental property that I'm living in because I'm fixing it, but I've got four other ones. And I said, well, shit, okay. Uh, and he's like, but I don't need to move on it. Like, I don't need the money. I just want to see what I can get for it, and I'd like to get what I'm asking. And it was the top-notch, perfect lease option scenario. Um, so I'm hoping that he, he – he's the one also said, well, how about you call you – send, you send me something to look at. You call me at 4 Monday. Can we do that on Monday? Okay. And I said, okay. I said, I said, so what you're telling me is you want me to call you at four and kind of go over the agreement with you. Is that, is that what I'm understanding? And he said, he's like, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I'm, that's what I'm asking. Is that something you can do? And I said, um, okay. well, if I do that and I did that whole thing, if I do that, yeah. yada, yada, yada. And so I got him to confirm to that as well, but I just felt like I could have done something else or if I didn't do, if I, I didn't got to enough. It sounds like you did a great job, man. I mean, the guy was selling you, you know, he, telling you, hey, four o'clock Monday, is that 
you know, we can go over the paperwork, yada, yada. Yeah. Okay, cool. If, if you're comfortable, then a, a, after we've chatted for a few minutes there at four o'clock and gone through the paperwork, what happens then? Right. Okay. See, cause he could say a couple of things here. He could say, yes, <clears throat> uh, I'll do the deal. Uh, and you, I'm sorry. What? Yes, I'll do. Yes, we'll do it. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. But what if he says, uh, well, I'm, you know, I'm just going to basically probably get all my questions answered. And then I'm going to have to go talk to my attorney brother and my realtor's sisters, hairdressers, bartenders, friends, <laughs> you know, and all this. And, and if he goes that way, then, then you've got a problem because see, you know, I, I don't, I don't want to meet at four o'clock personally. If, if this is not going to be, if you're just shopping me around and you're going to, you know, I don't know, like how long is this going to take? I mean, you have to consider me in the deal here, sir. You know, right. I'm not, I, I'm, I'm kind of in a hurry here. I don't want to, I don't know. This seems very open-ended. Are you just being a nice person? Maybe you'd like to tell me no. I like that. Yeah. I got to use that part. That probably would have been perfect to say at that point. You know, just, you need to be clear. Okay. Now if he's got true, if these are true objections and questions, like, in other words, he's not just trying to blow you off. See, that'll smoke it out. And then, you know, if, he's, if he has true stuff going on here, like he really feels like he needs to get his questions answered, get straight in his head, and then he's going to talk to these other people and so he can explain to them and make sure that he gets his social ring approval. Okay, maybe he's just that kind of cat. I don't know. I would do the dance with the guy two or three meetings, but I'm not going to let him just – kind of leave it open-ended like this you know right i really want a commitment on this second on this second you know what i mean if i can't get a commitment on this second one you know i may dance with him another one but i'm, I'm not going into four and five and six and seven yeah yeah you follow me yeah so it's like it, it's you know follow-ups two three max that's it you know if if you know Th that's how i see it you know, right. no, I know there's other people that say follow up eight, 10, 12 times. Okay. Yeah. But not, not physically with the phone, you personally calling, hi, it's me again. Yeah, I just gonna text. You know, a text, a, a letter, a fo follow up, you know, something that drips on them automatically, maybe. But when I'm thinking of follow up, I'm thinking of that guy that you didn't close, that you wanted to close, you think you may close. It rolls over into a second session. Maybe you didn't confirm, confirm, confirm. And now you're chasing the guy for a second session. Or maybe, uh, maybe he's got more, more smoke screens and he outflanks you and now you're onto a third date. Okay. If there's a fourth date, something's wrong. Like way wrong. You know what I mean? <laughs> I would rather, like I said the other day, I would rather confirm, confirm, confirm then follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. Right. I, I definitely don't want to be playing yeah. a follow up game. Sure. Um, so I'm going to, I'm hoping what, one thing I did is that uh, a friend of mine is a pharmaceutical sales rep told me and I'm going to try it next time I'm on the phone when they pull this stuff on me, it's like, well, how about we do this? How about, um, how, he, uh, Hey, are you at your phone? Do you have access to your email on your phone? I'm like, Hey, pull this up. I'm going to send you a calendar invite. You click it on there. So that way you can confirm with me that we have a meeting. Um, does that sound reasonable enough to do? And then they're like, Oh yeah. Yeah. And he says, then you'll know at that point if the follow-up, you know, is a little bit more likely or less likely, you know? Oh yeah. So I was like, well, I was like, I'll give that a shot. So I sent out the invite, but they didn't, they didn't respond to those, but. Um, but I'm hoping yeah. they pick up. So. Yeah. Well, um, anybody that blows me off like this or anybody that I can't close in the first two or three uh, phone conversations, I just put them in this, you know, I put them in the dripper, you know, where like we'll, we'll hit them with a text or something once every month or something, you know, like to see if they'll respond back. Um, but we're not, we're not chasing these people. I mean, I'm looking for the low hanging fruit. What's the low hanging fruit do? It falls off right in your hand. Yeah. You know, that's not low hanging fruit. If I got to climb the tree and chase this damn stuff, <laughs> you know,
know. Forget that. Yeah, yeah. Um, the the other thing I I wanted to ask you about the um the agreement memo is um. Uh, I. I it doesn't have the uh, seller concessions. Do we even include something like that? Um, I know here in Texas, it's, it's, it's mandatory that it has it. Um, but I don't know outside of that. Are those, is that required? Do we need to put that on there? Because I would, I'd hate that. I'd hate to be like, we'll give them the actual contract and they have the seller concession tab on it. And it's like, well, wait, what is this? Why am I holding this amount for this kind of buyer? Yeah. Um, I wouldn't use that one in Texas. Yeah. Yeah. No. 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 I'm, yeah. I'm, I know Texas. No, you don't use it. Yeah. But I'm saying like outside, outside of like you know, just like Indiana, or wherever. Um, like if you're sending, uh, if it's the the actual agreement, and like you're going to close it with them, or you're going to uh, send like a, a, a letter of intent seal. Um, if it has, do you include this? I know because I know it doesn't have it already. The seller concession tab. Do you put that in there, or do you even include it? Deals outside, uh, in those states, or are you just kind of like if they ask about it, then you then you include it at that point. Are you saying seller concessions? Yeah. Yeah. See, I'm not even familiar with what you're talking about, so it may be like rent credits. Oh, rent credits. Yeah, we never do rent credits. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I mean, we never do, and. The only time I think it's okay is maybe if you're getting the rent credit, but I don't offer rent credits to tenant buyers either. Okay. And the reason that, why that, is because it gets fishy with this Dodd Frank shit. Yeah. Yeah. Is that what you're yeah. talking about? Yeah, exactly. Cause it, it and, yeah. and here it's weird because it's like, that's what I thought it was you with the Dodd Frank stuff. It gets weird, but in Texas it's required. Uh, with the assignment, it has to yeah. have a seller concession. So it's yeah. just like that was. So I didn't know whether to include those on the offers, but now I feel way better about it, like not to include it. Yeah. Why do you say that? Uh. Well, just because it it was more. Uh. So in this packet that I had from John um, Jackson, it was like you send him like a price. If if it was like yeah. follow up offers, uh, you send like a. Um, a breakdown deal price breakdown uh, and then it had all those tabs in there and then his his contracts uh, are not contracts but his he has a breakdown sheet of what everything means and it's kind of already template template in an email so I did that and I sent it off and I was like shit yeah maybe I shouldn't have put that in there um, because it, this guy was in Springfield Illinois so I it didn't really matter and I didn't want to have to explain like you know oh yeah you got to hold uh, you know yeah. So no, I, I just didn't know if it was it needed to be included outside in those areas, and if not, no. that makes it way easier. Just in Texas, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Only, but I've never heard of it anywhere else, really. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, no. I mean, I I can't think of any other state. Maybe California. They prefer you use a lease with option one single contract which i used to have a copy of and then i fucked up accidentally one day like edited it real like major like change oh. and then i never could get back there so, <laughs> so i lost my california contract but um yeah but anyway i i don't you know i don't have a lot of issues with the contracts plus you know on the flex option memo it says or the seller's memo there. It says that uh, they can use their own paperwork even. Or okay. at, least it, at least it used to say that. So in other words, you know, I'll tell a homeowner, you know, Hey, listen, man, you know, if, if he brings up something, you know, like my attorney said this, my, you know, or I think this about the paperwork, my answer is, is, uh, you know, Mr. Homeowner, <laughs> you're probably right, man. I'm just a, I'm kind of just a country boy and I just got country boy agreements. That's all I know. So, um, you know, I'm not married to the paperwork. So if you've got something better that you, you feel more comfortable with, let's see if we can roll with that. Is that okay? Got it. Okay. okay. You okay. see what I mean? So I don't make the paperwork something that's ever an issue. Okay. Cause okay. it should, it shouldn't be. 
you know, really. Right. Yeah. I don't want that. Yeah. I don't want that to be a crutch or anything like that. Yeah. Um, and speaking of that, um, so, you know, like how you say, well, if I can include this in the agreement, you know, uh, they give you full control, all that stuff, like it says in the option memo. But if you don't let them know, like in the flex option, like, you know, you can go ahead and put it on the MLS, you can go ahead and sell it and we're off to the races kind of thing. If you guys don't talk about that and that's never brought up, can you take that out of the agreement or do you just leave it in there anyway and send it, even if you don't talk about that? Dude, you can edit these agreements any way you feel like you need to. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. I mean, I've changed them obviously uh, many times myself and probably will need to change them again. I mean, it's just, it's just life. And if you find it, you know, if you feel more comfortable with something or whatever, man, you feel like it sells better. Here, do it. Okay. <laughs> you know, no, I, I just yeah. wanted, I just wanted to make sure. Cause I, I you know, if, it, if it's like, I only want to send something that, that like that we talked about the bullet points and send it to them. And then like, you know, if we bring up that point, like, Oh, if I'm able to give you this and you know, it's a flex deal, you can sell it. And you know, if you sell it first, whatever, um, then I'll leave it in there. But if we didn't talk about it, you know, I, I mm -hmm. you know, I'd like to take it out. Yeah. And make it more exclusive sounding. Yeah. 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 And have you ever heard of anybody, uh, of course, it'll still say exclusive in the sense of marketing, but not not exclusive in the sense that they could still walk away, right? Right. So they could still break the deal in some way, maybe. Or you could take that out even. So you can edit it in any way you want, but it's basically a letter of intent. It's a memo, you know, like, and people don't get typically, you know, sued because of a memo or a letter of intent to purchase something. Even okay. if it, Even if it was written wrong, who the fuck sues about, I got a letter. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, or I entered into an agreement to agree upon purchasing. That's really what that is. You know, yeah. because the actual paperwork is all in the closing packet. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what you won't do till you get a tenant buyer. Yeah. And that, that's, that's what I don't want to do because that's, that's where it was pissing me off. Like when I first started, because, um, John's deal was like freaking sending that 20 page. I mean, I lost everybody and it was a pain in the ass to try to fill that up on follow-ups, you know? Oh, and, yeah. and I was just like, I'm dude, I am not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> so this yeah. is, this, this has been really good. Like this week was my first real week, uh, of doing like everything we've talked about, like yeah. the, the 600 scrapes, <laughs> the, the 600 text and, all the calls, uh, I was doing them from like, uh, Tuesday going, I was averaging about 10, six, uh, six to 10 calls Tuesday through, uh, yesterday. Yeah. And I got like maybe, uh, four more out of my scripts from last night, uh, that I got to, to call today and see what happens. But, um, but yeah, man, I, and I can see where it's like, Hey, as long as I keep doing it this way and then maybe add in some kind of ringless voicemails or something else, to it you know give me quite a few leads to, you know something's bound to happen yeah dude absolutely um you know what i think's funny is is you went from john jackson with all of the 20 page contract to justin chamness that has like a country boy memo that's like a half a page <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What's, what's way better that way yeah. Yeah. now you'll probably end up somewhere in the middle once you're once you really get your sea legs here and you know you get you've done a few deals and you've modified your documents the way you like them and you've got two or three versions and all this it'll probably be somewhere in the middle it won't be quite so light nor will it be so heavy man yeah the other one i yeah. don't like that. Yeah. yeah that other one's way too damn heavy yeah and then that'll be your own you'll you'll cherish that right because that'll be your little uh your little secret pack of special documents that really just fit you right you know yeah that, cool. yeah that will that, that will be nice man yeah but if but it feels good to get through the routine and see how this this will work every week um so even with um with john marr i i work we were talking about it last night and i'm i'm basically trying to to duplicate my i made a mind map of my process that i'm going to do every week um yeah. 
and um, with one other extension with the ringless voicemails. And so he's like, I'm having a hard time kind of like seeing what else I need to do. And I said, well, I'll share my mind map with you, man. And he's like, well, why don't we just duplicate what you do over here? And then, you know, I don't mind going in half on, on things with you. And I said, that's, that's great. That, that'd be awesome. So uh, I think we're going to, we'll be able to, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll handle all the marketing and, and dispositions and I'll handle all the acquisition um, stuff. Cool. So, cool. yeah, so they, it looks like that was going to be pretty cool, too. Nice. I like it, man. Yeah. You ever watch the A-Team? Yeah, Mr. T. Yeah. When they yeah. Used, to, he's, uh, used to say, I love it when a plan comes together. Yeah, man, it's a beautiful thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so I'm, I'm really, really happy about everything, man. So, yeah, um, if, 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 you know, if none of these close this week, it's all right. There's going to be like 600, 800 more next week. So, yeah well the important thing is making calls man yeah That's yeah it. and I, I know i'll get better like and i feel pretty good with like guts but i think sometimes i think my questions i'm like is that something you want to do or i need to pause a little bit more or is it and like ask it that way because i've i've recorded myself and i heard <laughs> i heard heard me say somebody the it was a cash buyer or a no, cash deal and i was like well it's it's it sounds like you know this this offer at 53 I made is something that it seems like you like it, but you don't want it, or or am I understanding that correctly? Do you want to do this or you don't? And, and I, just, <laughs> I was like, pull it back, man. Pull it back. That was okay though. That was not bad. Yeah. It, could, it could have been worse, and you could have not done it at all. It was a <laughs> yeah. great question, though. By the way, great question. Thanks, man. Yeah. So yeah. You're, you're coming along, man pretty pretty good and uh i think if we just get you some good consistent leads you know that'll be uh that'll take you a long way what, yeah. what we what we eventually need to do is plug in a virtual assistant to pre-screen these leads that's a, that's what i definitely would love man um and i think i'm i just i'd like to get one under my belt so that way i can put I, enough money. i feel you no I, I agree with you so sometime in the next month then because i think you're you're right there. Well, I hope so, man. I, I, I feel it. I get the – my spider senses are like, hey, man, you're almost there. Oh, yeah. I think so, too. <laughs> I think so, too, brother. I agree with yeah. you. So, yep. I don't think it'll be long. Maybe this so. maybe this coming week. Hey, man, That'd hopefully nice. Monday's two – it's that, that, you know, that two deal or the actual, two follow-ups actually said yes, hopefully. Hey, there you go. Yeah, that'd, Monday. That'd be yeah, that'd be awesome. That'd be one way. I dude, I'd walk in on Monday and quit the my my county job. And, yeah, I'm <laughs> oh good my to go, god, man. <laughs> that's hilarious. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Well, you could like uh, you could make some good money on two deals. Yeah, man. This would this would really be. Um, I mean, of course, I would have to find the tenant buyer, but if it did, it would be like like forty forty four. If I got both. Yeah. So. Yeah. There I mean, you go. I'm, I'm hoping. You know, I'll even take one, you know, yeah. I'll be happy with that. There you go. Yeah. That's good, brother. Yeah, I, man. I got to run, man. Okay. I'll talk to you Thanks, soon. It's nice right, chatting buddy. with you. Have Likewise, a good, man. have a good time with your family hiking and stuff. I will, man. Thank you. Have a good Saturday. All right. Thank you. All right, Bye -bye. brother.